I think so. Um, we made history in, in honor of the 97 team. I don't think they had that luxury in 97, but um, yeah, a little different way to end the game, but, but uh, certainly glad we got it right. Right. Yeah. The, the the rules are you know late in the game. I the last two innings I can ask for a crew chief review and and generally I think if it's a play of that magnitude and that close they're they're going to review it. I don't know what they met about, but uh, I've never heard of them not honoring a crew chief request. And so uh, they want to get it right too. So it was uh, you know it's kind of what instant replay is made for. You find that all interesting. You close out a three nothing shutout with Liriano, Musgrove, and. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously those, <laughs> you know, two of those three weren't on our team uh, much of the season. But, um, you know, again, I'll go back to the same phrase of all hands on deck. And, and Giles is not available tonight. Davinsky I didn't want to use. And we're going with matchups at the end, um, just navigating the innings. So uh, McHugh threw very well, handed the ball to Liriano, who who got us in a, in a, in a great position um, by getting his outs. And then, and then Musgrove's really, you know, pitched his way to a little more interesting outings out of the bullpen. I mean, his velocity's up, his slider's gotten better, his energy on the mound is exceptional. Um, just there's a there's a, a better vibe about him. Uh, so it was a good test for him today with the with the two-run lead. So um, And then Clippert at the end is what I wanted through the middle of the order. You get that many double plays, how does that change the dynamic? You know, just a beach inning, I mean, you yeah. go from being in trouble to being out of it. Like you know, I know we made an error at the end. Uh, but we played pretty clean d defense, which is which is something we, we need to turn these double plays. And and if you look back at our, our season defensively, um, we've been a little bit hot and cold on plays like that. So I, I think getting our attention, uh, we've worked on it. We've done our pregame uh, ground ball routine. Cora's done a good job of uh, of getting these guys with with Dower and and really emphasizing, you know, handling the ball cleanly. And and those double plays come up big when you can get out of innings the way we did. Well, you don't see the what was the one that that uh, you know the 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 four five three double play is just a weird one to write down on a scorecard. You don't see it now. We you know arguably have an, a, an extra shortstop on the field with Bregman, so he's used to making that play uh, more so than most third basemen in the in the big leagues. But um, that type of distance where Altuve is all the way over in the hole, he's got to make either a long flip or a long throw. Uh, and then there's got to be a quick turn with some velocity behind it. We've seen Correa do it a lot. Now we've seen Marwin and Bregman both do it. Um, it takes it takes perfect execution to turn those those length of DP of double plays. What made you know, he had to battle early. They they really made him work, and he had really high pitch count, high deep counts um, early on. And when he found the feel for his breaking ball, that was good. His fastball was pretty good. Um, you know, they swung a little bit earlier in the count. I, I was really happy with how he ended his outing the last three outings. He, or the last three innings, he, he barely got into double digits with his pitch count. So he became a little bit more efficient as the game went along. But getting through the first couple innings when he found himself in a lot of three ball counts and, a, and falling behind, he couldn't throw his breaking balls backing up on him early. Uh, he found a way to get through those early innings, you know, with no damage. Um, it was key to, to, so he could settle in. What's the evaluation of the offense today? Are you happy with the offensive performance overall? The offense? Yeah, I am. I mean, we, we've had, you know, Graveman's been tough on us in the past as well. He's got a heavy sinking fastball um, that, that he challenges a lot of hitters with, but it moves all over the place. And so our guys, we pounded into the ground a little bit. Uh, we got a couple pitches to hit. We had a couple of opportunities um, and just missed, you know, kind of breaking open the game with Centeno line out to right field with second and third. So we, we put up some really good, good at bats. Didn't get a lot to show for it. We hung in there. And then obviously Bregman's home run at the end kind of stretches the lead, which makes everybody feel a little bit better. Uh, but I'm pleased with our offense, yes. Did you see better command from Leary on that? I did, and better velocity. You know, we've used him a lot. He's, he's pitched, I think, every other day for about five or six days. And that um, maybe that's going to help him get into his routine and get into his rhythm and, and just get a lot of mound presence. And, and you know, I think his... Um, he was definitely through the plate and, and conviction through the through the middle part of the plate with both his fastball and his slider. And again, it gets hitters into the into swing mode. It gets hitters into having to deal with a lot. It was 95, 96 miles an hour today. The slider had a little bit more to it, um, and that's when he's fatiguing. He's pitched a lot in the last couple of days, so uh, that's a good sign. Does Marwin have the, the green light there? Bases loaded, three and zero. Yes, Marwin did. Fisher did. I mean, it's how we play. You know, I, there's there's a great risk in swinging 3-0 because there's there's some upside in the walk and there's some upside in making the pitcher throw three strikes. 
uh, but there's some upside in the in the in breaking open games too. And and you know I want the opponent to know they've got to still make a pitch on 3-0. There are no free strikes when you come to Houston. Is it obvious that uh, Juan Centeno had a good relationship today with the pitcher? A great great game behind the plate. You know I, I think he. Um, you know, he cares so much about his pitchers, and every time he makes a call that doesn't go our way, he takes it personal. I love how, how convicted he is in, in working with the pitcher. He really cares. And he's offered some, some things offensively, but um, he knows he's impacting games with his defense. He's blocking the ball well. He really throws. I love the pickoffs, uh, the energy that he provides behind the plate. That's a the catcher's number one job when he shows up at the ballpark is get the most out of the pitchers. And you throw a, you throw a shutout. You've got to give a little bit of hat tip to the catcher.